Hi, welcome back. It's Surf Ghetto Resin. We have been away for a while, but we are back. We are going to do <laughs> do a nice bamboo cutting boards. Uh, these are super easy to find, and they're super useful, and they're great for a gift. They're great for yourself, but then maybe if you put a resin wave on it, then it's an exciting gift. Well, or it's an a whole lot better. Like, I just love yeah. this. Like, like, it's super useful, but then you can actually, like, do something fancy with it, you know? Uh, just fancy it up a little bit is what we're going to do this time. That's right. Um, we are going to use a little bit of silicone oil yeah, so we can play with that with like this one. Return to our roots, like how we used to do our waves and how we still do from time to time. Like, we use silicone oil, and it's kind of like a trade secret that a lot of people won't talk about. Uh, it's one of those things that we found out about through looking at YouTube videos, I'm like, hey, wait a minute, that guy just put something in there, what is that? And they won't tell you, but we will. Silicone oil. <laughs> yeah. was so slight, little, little yeah. amount of silicone oil. It but... will very quickly ruin your piece as well, so you have to be yeah, it gets weird. very it's aware. <laughs> it gets real weird. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to go through that and kind of the process of taping it off and cleaning it up and pouring the waves and finishing it and all the shebang. I mean, Going from just a meh, 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 like bamboo cutting board to something that's like bam, boo, cutting board. That's right. Stay tuned. Yeah, <laughs> keep watching. <laughs> All right. We have a new fabulous angle. Resin is stirred. Boards are taped. Trying to make sure I don't unlevel it. Just double checking. Of course, it looks like it's off now. Okay, I'm more comfortable with that. So, pouring off the clear. These boards are 11 by 14, and they take about two ounces each, at least for where I'm gonna start to wave. So, and not only that, I'm gonna do something a little scary, and I'm gonna put a couple of drops of just your regular silicone oil. This is a really <laughs> scary thing to do. Uh, sometimes it comes out great, and sometimes it is a total disaster. We'll see. Already bugs. We'll see what happens today. So, I guess the disasters always make good for good videos, right? Oh, start down a little far. Fix that one here. All right, put this one back in. I'm scrape it as much as possible because I'm going to mix the white in this cup. So I don't want, I've tried to put silicone oil in the white as well, and it doesn't work. And again, even putting it in the clear sometimes doesn't work. So it's something, you can definitely try it. It's something different. I know a lot of people do it when they're doing like dirty pours and it comes out super cool. Um, like I said, sometimes it comes out great and sometimes it comes out horrible. So, try it, see what you think. Staring at my alcohol ink, even though I already shook this before I started the camera, it's still, I don't hear the little bead in there going. So, let me stir this. There it is. And this gets messy sometimes. And I think. 
I mean, clearly I just poured that in, so there's no science to it. I think this comes out better when um, I put more alcohol ink than this white pigment that I get from Basham's. So we'll see. So on these little guys, I do like a pretty potent white. And that's because I like to do just like lay down a really thin line and be able to blow back because I don't like when when the wave blows over into the hole. My goal is not to do that. I'm not saying it's not going to happen. <laughs> but my goal is to not do that. I want it to come and like come to here and then stop. So I want to be able to have a nice vibrant white and not blow it, not have to blow it back super far to make it actually do what it's supposed to do. So I do a thin line, a lot of pigment, or not a lot of pigment, because again, that will turn your resin yellow faster. But I get it pretty opaque. And since I like to mix my own color, uh, I'm gonna start with a tiny bit of green. Like I said, this is only like six ounces of resin. And this pigment, a little bit goes a long way. And I want them fairly light and bright. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of blue, a little bit of green. Look at that stick. Definitely use that stick. It's amazing. And I got pigment all over me. And then I just drop a little bit of white in the beginning. You'll see. And because I like the little bit of shimmer, even though this is an opaque pigment, or it's going to be an opaque color, I'm going to add some pearl to it. I'm going to add some to my white as well comes out so pretty. It's super, uh, like just a little detail. But some May Spring, May, yeah, May Spring White Pearl. Stir it up and we'll see what color we get. Scrape. I don't know if you can see the bottom of the cup, but there's like, uh, not really. But it's not stirred very well. The white sank. That's a nice, pretty blue. You can't really see the green in it, but you can see like, it's not just regular. You can still see the swirls of white not in there, not quite stirred. If you learn nothing from these videos, just know to stir your resin. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go find mine right next to the clear just to make sure there's no, no huge gap so that you can connect them. And if you do leave a bigger gap, you can always go in with another color. But I really like this glue. Unfortunately, I can probably never replicate it, but that's okay. I like originals. Or three of a kind. <laughs> Adding a little more blue. a little bit more green too. Why not? I do a lot of blue, but in reality, green is my favorite color. So, why not? Ooh, that's such a pretty turquoise.
Oh yeah. Okay. I can handle that. I like to get at least three different colors on my boards to each of them. Sometimes I don't because I'm running out of resin because I colored too much. I'm super excited about that color. Dropped another blob of blue. I'm just trying to fill the voids, really. I like to do some overlapping too, though. then you get like another unique color. Okay. These go pretty quick. Again, connecting, making sure all the clear and the color meet, because when you go to blow it back, it's going to get weird if it doesn't. Getting my edges really well all in here. This is the spot that gets a little, make sure you get all that handle. There's a surface tension. Alright, so far so good with the silicone oil. <laughs> Sometimes by now you can already tell that it's doing something that you don't want it to do. And sometimes you're able to scrape it off. And sometimes you're not. But what's the saying? No risk, no reward. I mean we'll see if it comes out much different. When I turn my glove inside out, I mean, you do it with the glove that you have on. But I like to take my stir stick, just kind of give it a little quick wipe. And that way, you can use your alcohol wipe. That's already kind of dirty. And you're good to go, even though that's there from another time. Because it's half the time I forget to clean it, and I don't even know how that happened. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Okay. And you gotta stir your white. You think it's incorporated? Because you can't really tell because it's all white. But stir this really, really well. It likes to sink. It likes to not incorporate, it like sticks to the side or sticks to wherever it's not supposed to. Okay, let's see. This is kind of thin. The alcoholic makes it thin. Usually I like to pour it out of the cup. 
but I find that this is just easier when I have it on a stick because I want a thin line. And I spilled it everywhere. I'm gonna go get that later. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Again, the white goes right in front of the clear. I'd almost prefer them not to connect and then go back in by hand and push them together. Um, then having the clear or the white go on top of the clear, it just, I don't know, in my experience, it just works out a lot better. Edge, you'll see it like climbs up the side. I don't like when that happens either. And this may not even help it. <laughs> we'll see. And this spot here is driving me nuts. Why is this again? It keeps receding. Luckily, I have the cup. Out of there. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, and you know the rest. Torch, and we're gonna blow back. My heart has gone back into my chest. <laughs> I know, I know, I'm touching the rhythm. I don't know what that is. It got a little weird. So I'll come in here and clean it up a little bit more. But as you can see, Still got some cells, they're just different. But it's resin. And the resin is really unpredictable. But yeah, I hope you can see and my head's not totally in the way how it blew back. And it's just, I don't like the way it looks. So, the alcohol wipe wrapped around my finger really close. Just kind of go in and clean it up.
guess maybe I'll come out later and like when the resin is like more gloopy. <laughs> well, the resin is at the end of its pot life. Let me sound like I know, know what I'm talking about. Um, I may just put some of the leftovers on that little spot and see what happens. And if not, good thing we do two waves on everything. Let's try to cover it tomorrow. I do find it fascinating that look how many cells have developed since, I wish, I wonder if we could do it before and after. Well, it's not even close. Um, but in this time of wiping them and whatnot, so many cells have developed, which is kind of cool. I always like want it to happen instantaneously, but it doesn't. Okay, so this is pretty thin. I usually like to wait for it to thicken up before I start doing this, but we'll see. Maybe a little sad that my cells are a little smaller than what I would want them to be, but I guess it looks more realistic. You know? See if I can make that connect and bring it over. Maybe I get rid of all that. Alcohol is your best friend. It's mine. I say a lot about friends, huh? <laughs> Is the hat. One more torch. <laughs> for today. See you tomorrow. We're back. Stay tuned. And this is still here. I don't know what's going on there. It did not want to stick to that. I have no idea. This is what happens. So, I came back in and put, like, when the resin was super thick and sticky and, like, thicker than honey, I put more on here. If you're, like, super close, you can see, like, a ring of where it pushed out all the resin because, you know, I put it on there, I swirled it in, I left bubbles in it, which is spectacular. Um, I don't know. We'll see what happens today. Here we go. I'm going to do a little less than six ounces today because this was six ounces. I had some left over. Um, and we're going to go a little bit further back. Uh, these waves though, they have a ton of cells. Not what I'm going for though. So we're going to see if this next layer will do something a little better. Let's see. Here we go. Okay. Start up. Ready to go. Kind of. I have my clear, and I don't know why, but just to keep it consistent, we're going to go ahead and use more silicone oil. Um, I also, now that I'm looking at these, I'm going to check my level. Because uh, it's not tilted back far enough. So I feel like maybe that's why the waves didn't go back. So again, with my just little cutouts of cardboard, I'm gonna fix these. Maybe. Look at the other thing work. I don't understand how these weird things happen with these. You have like one piece of cardboard, it totally throws the level off. But you can add like three sometimes and nothing happens. And somehow 
still not on it. Okay. Maybe. Good enough. Not enough time to crunch or anything. Resin's not stirred. It's fine. Same thing. I don't know, maybe I knocked the table. I don't even know. I leveled these yesterday, I swear. But, uh, I don't know. <sighs> Incredible. That just totally threw everything off. Okay, let's see. Kind of better. That'll do it. Holding back the sleeves, because I already have crunchy sleeves. Uh, nothing you haven't seen before. Clear line. I'm doing translucent today so that you can see all that detail in this spectacular wave from underneath. We'll show through a bit. And again, stairway and cool. Every time. This one I was using earlier. I'm just gonna hit it with more alcohol because it's clean. This needs to be re-moistened. How? I haven't even touched anything yet. Anyway, clear. Let's sell the phone. And I tried using this. Okay, so I use Promarine Epoxy, now Promise Epoxy. Um, I tried the silicone oil trick with Art Resin. Doesn't work. The Art Resin is just a lot more sensitive to it. I don't know what the right word is. So, so with this Promary, the Promise Epoxy, I'm able to put roughly four drops of silicone oil per ounce. I only put it in the clear line. And then whatever's left, which hopefully is only a little bit, I put back in here and mix it really well. And it kind of dissipates and it kind of really doesn't do anything. With the art resin, oh my, uh, I did four drops and it was a disaster, total disaster. I got dimples and pits and it just smeared all over the place. So don't, you, so with this one I use four drops. With the Promise Epoxy I use four drops of silicone oil. Um, and again, sometimes it doesn't work with this one either. With Art Resin I used a two drops per ounce of silicone oil and uh, it was a little bit more forgiving. Stone coat, I was able to do four as well. So, we gotta test it. Everything's a test, every day is a test. This is my Basham's White, and I already poured in some alcohol ink.
I don't know what to say. This is silicone oil. Sometimes it does this. Sometimes it does that. Sometimes it turns into gnarly pits. Use at your own risk. Oh, geez. Um, but if you're struggling to get cells, I mean, and uh, this one compared to this one, like more cells have already grown. So again, let's give it time. Let's see. Yeah. And I'm just happy that that's covered. Like what, what was going on? It's covered. It's covered. Um, I'm going to wait a little time because I don't like how thick this white line came out because I just like went for it when it was still super liquidy and everything. So I'm going to give it some time, let it thicken up a bit, and then I'll go through and do it when, do the finishing up line. When it's super sticky and thick and I can do a super thin, delicate line. But it's, it's working. And don't inhale this. <laughs> Sometimes when you torch the crap out of it, you get more cells. Or you burn it. <laughs> you decide which one you do. It's looking better. I'll see you tomorrow. It's another 24 hours later. We just took the tape off yesterday, and now today they're you know, a couple days old, so they're not fully cured. They're still a little soft, but, um, <laughs> pretty happy with the way they came out. Uh, this is best case scenario. Let me tell you, we've had plenty of, ex oh, nice. That's a close up of the cells. Uh, we've had some times where it, uh, the silicone just creates giant pits. It creates spots where it has like receding and the resin just won't go back yeah, to weird, it. Yeah, weird stuff can happen. Yeah, so as long as you know what you're getting into, do it on like a practice piece, um, test it out. And like I said, every resin kind of takes the silicone oil differently. Um, and as you saw in the first waves on these, I wasn't super excited, but once you kind of cover it with the second one, you know. Yeah, still plenty of room on here for activities like chop, chop, chopping or serving or whatever, like um, still super useful and super pretty and decorative and just a nice little unique like, kind of bumps it up a little bit from like a the bamboo cutting board to like bam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, just like that. Yeah, it's a difference. I mean, it's cool. But yeah, but weird things happen no matter what. Even with, I mean, I didn't put any silicone oil on that little spot right there, but for some reason it continued to recede. If you work with resin, you already know weird things happen. So as long as you know what you're getting into, it works out. Yeah, and play around with it, have fun. These are uh, kind of an inexpensive entry point into the resin world, you know, working with bamboo and, you know, cheaper woods. And they're popular. And I love them. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. And uh, if we missed anything, any questions? Any oh my gosh, as always, please let us know. Suggestions, reach out if uh, you want more insight into a certain aspect of this, like, reach out. Like, we'll make a video on it. Give us an idea. <laughs> I know. Um, what is it? Follow us on... Instagram, yes, YouTube, which you're watching right now. So subscribe, like, subscribe, ring the bell. Um, the website. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in and uh, peace.